Here are the starters for the third race. Number one, Starlet Lane, is owned by Bloodstock Farm and, and Stables of Saddle River, New Jersey, trained by Ron Gerfine. Dave Pallone is up. Number two is Scratch. Number three is Hurricane Hudson, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield, Illinois, by Willis Ham of Rutledge, Missouri, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number four is Victory Binge. Victory Bench is owned by James Longfellow of Carmel, Indiana, trained by Dirk Simpson. Tim Searle is in the bike. Number five, New Jackpot, owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrich of Jeff, Illinois, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number six, Happy to Dance, owned by Dean Derbyshire of Bloomington, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. And number seven, Why Mess with Success, owned appropriately enough by the Why Mess with Success stable of Versailles, Kentucky, as they say it in the bluegrass, trained by Ron Gerfine and Mike Lachance is in the bike. Third race of the day is only three minutes from post. Here they come for the top line two-year-old trot. And the favorite is off stride. Starlet Lane on a break. The rest are off and trotting. And there goes Happy to Dance out for the early lead. Followed by Victory Binge toward the inside. Hurricane Hudson down toward the rail. Starlet Lane will have a ton of ground to make up. She will have to spot the leader nearly 30 lengths by the time they get to the first turn. Back up front. Happy to Dance starts moving up on the outside to take the lead by a length and a half to Victory Binge who goes second. Why mess with success is third as they swing past the carnival on the southeast turn of the racetrack. Hurricane Hudson fourth toward the rail. They're at the quarter. New jackpot is next. Opening quarter in 30 and two-fifths. It's a long way back to Starlet Lane as the field makes the move up the back stretch. They're being led by Happy to Dance but on the inside by just an act. And why mess with success goes second. Why mess with success? Up to get the lead now. Three parts of a length. Happy to Dance goes second by a length and a half. And then Victory Binge, Hurricane Hudson, new jackpot, and a big gap, 20 more lengths back to Starlet Lane. And they're halfway home. Why mess with success? Leads it by a length and a half. The half mile mark and 101 and two fifths. Happy to Dance goes second. Victory Binge is third. Hurricane Hudson is fourth on the inside. One spot in front of new jackpot. And Starlet Lane is catching the field. But the question now, will she have anything left? Because she's still nearly a dozen lengths off the lead. She's still last. And they're coming to the three-quarter. Why mess with success? Leads it by a length and a half. Happy to Dance goes second by the same margin. Then Victory Binge, Hurricane Hudson, new jackpot, and Starlet Lane. The three-quarter reached in 133. So why mess with success? Leads them off the turn by a length. Happy to Dance goes second by the same margin and now takes to the outside. And then Victory Bend, Starlet Lane is still far back and last. An eighth of a mile to come. Why mess with success? Challenged by Happy to Dance and Victory Bend on the outside. Why mess with success by a length? Happy to Dance second. Victory Bend third. Then Hurricane Hudson. Here's Happy to Dance. Happy to Dance coming after Why mess with success? Photo finished. Why mess with success? Look to hang on by a head, but that's a photo. Either her or happy to dance in 202 flat. Well, speaking of top drivers, as the result is now official for the third race, Mike Lachance, a three-time HTA driver of the year. He ranks in the top five leading dash winning drivers of all time. And Mike Lachance is in the winner's circle at the Illinois State Fair. Here he is, folks. Mike Lachance, why mess with success? Believe it or not, horses driven by Mike Lachance have won $128 million in his career. That is second all-time. Phyllis Whiteside presenting the Illinois Top Line Trophy to the connections of the Why Mess With Success stable. Phyllis has assisted Mike Murphy, the uh, secretary treasurer of the Top Line, for some 30 years. Phyllis, it's good to have you with us at the Illinois State Fair for the Top Line Stakes. The winning two-year-old call is by Malabar Man, bred by KR Leasing Incorporated. And a bit reluctant to play the role of taxi. Why he messed with success. Mike Lachance, congratulations. 202 flat. The rundown is next. 7-6 exacta, by the way, $29.80.